Yeah. I mean, it's like, why don't, why don't people just like, you know, stay healthy? Why healthy? don't they just... Healthy. Falthy edition. Why don't they come up with a word like falthy? <laughs> Ooh. Now, what were, you, what were you actually trying to say there? <laughs> yeah, it was, I was trying to get us into why don't they just... <laughs> so you T- just made up Tim is over our, our, our dad bod conversations. I mean, I, I just was confused if we were still on our sponsor read or not. <laughs> <laughs> is this still the, trying, it's three minutes in? Trying to loosey you know, trying to just, you know... I know. You we're know, just palling around with their buds. Uh, this this show is now called Our Falthy Future. <laughs> OFF. <laughs> so, yes, off, why don't off, they just... Off. This actually came from Rob Speed. He just shared this before we hopped on here in the uh, Discord. So thanks, Rob. Uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. He says, so why don't they just... Yet again, I guess he's you've asked this a few times. Uh, Sorry, why don't they Rob. just pop a few international shipping containers in the top of some F9s and bolt them together in space? For, I'm guessing, habitats or construction or something. Um, these only weigh four tons and at 40 feet by eight feet by six foot nine, whatever those are on metric, uh, they'll easily fit inside of a fairing. So, yeah. Uh, why, Rob, why would they? You're, since you're in here, I, yeah, I was just going to say I'm right back at you, Rob, why would they do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, and, what's and that going to Why would they just? A shipping container, you, I mean, you just mean like a regular shipping container or because, you know, those aren't really like made for space. Like they right? don't have like anything not... in them. <laughs> they're just shipping containers. In space, they're, they're just shipping containers. So have you seen any of the shipping container houses? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Big fan. Yeah, there, there's one down the street from us and, and it's really, really cool. So that's kind of where I think he's going with that is like, like take the, obviously they would have to be modified. They're not just regular shipping containers, just like in the house. But like, if it's, if it's modified to be sort of a, a module for the, the space station or, or, I mean, once we, once we get, um, you know, there've been arguments made for doing construction in, in zero gravity. There's certain things that you can build in, in zero gravity that you can't build here on, on earth. You know, we covered a while back the, um, the human printing human tissue, up in space that um, in zero gravity that the gravity doesn't like squish everything together it like lets it form the its island. its solid right. thing but i'm just saying like if you had a sh- shipping container size a uh, module up there with sort of autonomous um, machines building stuff in space that could then come back down i don't know that's so we want hipster well, housing in space <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, so the the big thing is in order okay we'll get there oh wait let's let's see um i guess let's see someone else give more of a reason of like why why don't they i guess because i, I now kind of get the why would you because like it could be super cheap you could literally fly for those the the hardware would be you know thousands like ten thousand dollars or something to get some substantial uh habitation area and you could prefab them a little bit or something but you know, so so why why don't they do that instead of these? Well, because you don't need things. that rigid and strong of a structure, right? Isn't the whole concept of the inflatable habitats like you could you could pack that down into a backpack size mm-hmm. or something and then get there and bam? Because you don't have like here we have pressure, right, from our atmosphere pushing down on us, and so like if you want to stack these things on top of each other here, well, yeah, it has to be able to hold the weight which is from from gravity up there you don't have any of those needs at all right like i'm sure you need something to protect from the outside but i i, I imagine the shipping container is designed in a way you know that <laughs> that accounts for gravity and atmosphere and if and if you were designing something similar for space you could do it probably way more efficiently maybe i'm wrong but that's my thought joe I, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought I already laid the case out. Well, I thought you lay. I thought you were laying out why <laughs> would they? So why don't they? Oh, why don't they? I, I guess? I guess because uh, we don't really have construction in space just yet. I, mean, I actually, I, I, I think I might agree with with Ben there a little bit that um, the inflatable habitats might be a, a simpler way to go in terms of store. Like, how, how many inflatable habitats could you get on a, a Falcon Nine fairing or whatever, and get up there and blow them all up? And how much space would that? But so to Rob's that? point, basically, like, how much would those be, though? You know, we're talking now about something that was four thousand dollars is now all of a sudden fourteen million, just to get the same habitational volume. Money, yeah. you know, you know, money. But how much? How much would you have to modify a, a shipping container, and how much would that cost? 
Well, and to, for that amount of space, you could have like a mega city size inflatable hab versus, you know, a couple of shipping containers, right? I think, I mean, I think you guys pretty much nailed the, the bulk of it, but, you know, don't forget like, so something in space, let's say it's, it's anywhere, say it's at half bar, right? Of pressure inside. That's still seven pounds of per square inch on a pressure vessel. So it has to be, you know, filled mm -hmm. with air, right? Obviously for us to be able to use it as habitation. And I just really highly doubt that there, you can handle a seven pound per square inch differential between on those long surfaces. I just, I think they'd just blow out immediately. I just don't. So you'd have to do some significant reinforcements. Things in space have to have significant amount of cooling and, uh, you know, and environmental controls. So you're uh, talking about the shipping container. The right shipping now. container. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yep. Uh, you know, shooting it vertically has to be able to handle three G's of load without crumpling. You know, there's all these other considerations besides just, you know, cause yeah, they, they're designed to stack on each other, you know, but you know, like what are the loads on the long end? And at the mm. end of the day, you, you, you're going to have to outfit this thing to be handling the rigors of space. And before you know it, you're just like, wait, why are we using bulky steel? Why are we like all of the, right. the decent aspects of it are literally like no longer space rated. You know, they're no longer at all capable of something that you'd mm. use in space. So you'd basically be starting from scratch and be like, oh, well, I guess none of this is really ready for space. OK, I'm starting a GoFundMe. This is what I want to do. <laughs> I want to send up a shipping container. Fill to the brim with fireworks <laughs> and then just send that over the entire United States. Okay. Just burning up through the atmosphere, just oh, putting on a show. Beautiful. And that will cheer everybody up and get us through COVID. Yeah, oh, I love it. Well, love you know, it. they thought the Blue Angels thing would do it and it wasn't quite enough. This is what we got to do. <laughs> they, they're doing that, right? We did this. We talked about this before. There was like fireworks from space company, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. But a shipping container worth? Mm, I'm just waiting for... Step up your game, son. I'm just <laughs> waiting for, you know, the Starbucks logo coming from space. <laughs> Jeez. I bet you anything someday there will be, like, space advertising. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just, just, just like there are, um, uh, you know, those airplanes with the banners behind them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're there'll on the be, beach. There'll be, like, satellites just glowing... Across the sky, we've got them. We've got like them in ticker. spades here. I think I sent you guys a photo of one because there's like a strip club that advertises, <laughs> and it's always like, "Daddy, what's that?" Like, "Oh, <laughs> that's where Daddy goes when Mommy's mad at him." Or something. You know? <laughs> 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 and you're like, "Oh God!" Like, there should be some limits on that. People, we right. should have some decency in in public spaces. Mm, doesn't. It's not the mm, American. Doesn't way. exist. Not in this country. Nope. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.